Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, Art Dragon Blade. Part 2 of how to maintain your gaming laptop slash modding. So, we're just go ahead and put this nice blue thermal pad you see me cut the last episode. Yeah, I made two part. I shouldn't put the the boring stuff, but yeah, I had to show you the process. And give me a moment because I cannot see it because I wear glasses. So give me a, a moment to see and let you guys see what how thin the memory is. Very small. That's enough to protect the thermal pads. To transfer the heat on the chip to the heat sink. And you had to do a particular my model about three more times. So you go see me pull the other side of it and then so on. So enjoy the rest of the clip. I'll be back in a moment. Right about here, I'm having a little issues. Those damn wires for the antenna got in the way, or the Wi-Fi antennas. It just when I try to put it in, the wires got in the way, so I had to move it out of the way. Uh, uh, these wires, eh, whatever. It just got in the way somehow, some reason. Just did, so I had to move off the side. Give a nice even pressure all around. That look kind of grungy, but I will clean that off after I finish the simple mod. You can tell I pulled those two wires off the antenna. At least they're color match. See, so you got your black for black and white for white. So, but for me, I, I wear glasses, so it took me a moment to see. And then, boop, try putting it on. That's it. <laughs> so, yeah, when you put things back together, make sure everything's not interfering each other. Like my example for um, the Wi-Fi connection. So after that, you should be smooth sailing. When you put things together, you had to make sure it go in, you know, what it posts to. Click on if something bolts or not fitting right. Especially the mod I'm about to do. 
if you have enough clearance, you're good to go. If you don't, well, you had to mod something. <laughs> That's why the next few clips later on. Just stand by and enjoy the rest of the clip. Uh, before I start to mod things, I'm gonna have to clean it. I got an old toothbrush. You can see, you know, I've been used well, so. But I think I'm like, now nah, let's get our old, old toothbrush. A little more cleaner, a little more softer brush. Because this is a really soft brush. I don't want to break the. Uh, what is the type of fan art? Mmm, uh, I know this. There's a. Uh, you got your fan blade. This is like LR fan blade style. It's like a turbine style. Yeah, it's a turbine style. Or the hamster cage, whatever you want to call it. Because it, I got some fine dust. You could tell it started coming off. It just... Yeah, it's not bad. I just... I don't want to build up too much. So I just go ahead and knock it out quickly. Just, you know, I don't have a can of air, so... I should, but yeah, well, I'm kind of broke-ish, <laughs> I'm unemployed-ish, so, well, because I have a job, but it just, moving there to go require a lot of resource, but anyway, enough me, you saw me bust out the heat sink I'm going to mod, and yes, I'm using a hacksaw, I don't have my damn Dremel, so. <laughs> I had to make sure it's cut straight and true best I can with the hacksaw. Uh, this one took a moment. And I'm probably take off a camera. I think this point and cough off camera. I just get started and I will show you in the next clip. After a good long time, about a half hour. Cut it slow and carefully. Especially those damn things. And my poor thumb, well, friction burn, I should say, or friction cut. 
how well aluminum transfers heat when I'm cutting it, so it took a little longer expect it. But what I saw you here, well, I'm gonna put the let me zoom up all that stuff. I'm gonna put my heat sink right at those empty spot because you know I want to maximize my cooling performance or give it a little more thermal mass to transfer it. So I notice it does need a little bit more clearance. I'm trying to figure which one, you know, I want to use which side of it. So I'm just right there, seem good. It's right above the, the chips. Try to get, I'm thinking about it so I get closer to heat pipe because absorb something or absorb some of the heat away from the pipes or from the the chip instead. Yeah, I think about it and then right there is a good delicate balance. And here it's like it's sticking out a little bit, so I might have to do a little more mod, a little self clearance. So I'm looking around my room and see what I could find to cut it. Found something, but it's not meant for cutting since aluminum is a lot softer metal to work with. So I done the lazy way because I don't feel like cutting anymore. So you grab right there, and a good old, good old finger strength, just pretty much uh, break the piece off of it. Aluminum is very forgiving metal to work with. Well, to manipulate it and cut it and mod that's nice to work with and now i check the clearance oh look it fits i probably need to sand it a little bit but right there it got the little lift right there i'm i'm thinking about so i use thermal paste or pad and i'm thinking about so i use a pad or paste that side will fit Give me that one millimeter raise. Think about it. And then I had to cut the other one. And then I'm like, mm, well, I, I'm kind of feeling lazy. I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking how I do this. It fit what I want. It, this, hmm. I got that little bit lip, but I want to use my thermal pads. I might need something else. You can see slightly sticking out of the, the heat plate there too. Not much. You know, the little small word screw hole is. You can see the little blue there. But I'm like, so I put Yeah, I'm, I'm debating. This is the point I'm just really debating what, what I want to use. But this is what it looked like if it said it done, roughly. Give me like an idea of how skull plays out. See, it'd be fine. Like that. I'm probably gonna go clean them up because it's got that little residue, so I'll be back in a sec. Clean it with alcohol. So I'll have a nice clean surface area. Yes, I'm using a little too much light here. And the flickering is, like I said, I've been playing with this camera I'm trying to make it work with me, but. Mmm. Annoying! <laughs> But anyway, clean the surface area, just give it a good wipe down. You can see some dust flying in here and there. Annoying. When it's all set and dry, I finally decided what I go use. Right here, I'm just 
do my little practice run because I had decided what I'm going to use. Yes, their own pace. <laughs> and because I go service in the near future, I don't have nothing really sticking on to the surface. So I'm just going to put a nice bead there and a cross beam there. Because I got plenty of thermal paste, so why not? I'm like, yeah, I do this instead. It still goes orb heat. It's still going to transfer. It will it be pretty? No. Will it work? Yes. <laughs> Efficiently? It'd be better than nothing, like I said. So, I'm going to tell you how I go keep it together. Just a little wiggle, a little push, make sure, it, you know, inner. Because I have a slight uh, elevation where the screws, uh, the weird uh, screw mounting is. And here I go again. Another nice, thick, thick bead again. Uh, not too thick. Thick enough. <laughs> so, you go see me doing this and then I'll show you the next step. So I make a visual inspection, lift it up, shake it a little bit, it's sticking and stuff. But I need a little more security to make it stay on there. The next best thing I could think of, and temporary, because I might need removing near future. Make sure it's still sticking there. I got a little bit of thermal paste kind of oozing out, but a little quick clean it helps. But a visual. It, it stay on, but I make it stay on somewhat permanently. A little dab of super glue. Uh, you don't need a, a lot or a crazy amount, just a little mwah, kiss of it. I will show you how much I use if this damn glue gun or glue bottle come off. Uh, uh, this took a moment to take off the cap off because it's stuck. At telling you how often I use glue. But after I took it off, finally, <laughs> just a little dab there, a little dab there, just a little, not, not a lot, not a crazy amount. There you go. Just push it back on, and just a little dab. Just two little dab. That's it. This one took a little while to dab, but that's it. Uh, and I kind of went out of line me a little bit. I spilled a little over on the pipes. Oh well, I go clean it off, and a little bit more cleaning with alcohol, maybe help a little bit. Nah, I hate working with super glue, but it will hold it, and it feels solid, so it's good to go. Yep, that's a little tab, because in the near future, you will break that off, because drone base doesn't last forever, so. You just go do a little pry and that's it. Now let's take the clearance. Yeah, clearance look good. Zoom in, you can barely see it. But no problems, it's not bulging out. I'm just going to clip it, see how everything is. Lining check. So it just, just barely have enough room. Clip it all around, make sure it's all good. 
Make sure it's like level. That's no bolds, no clearance issue at all. Like it meant to be. And you can see, you know, the heat sinks right there. No one wants to see it except for me. So, yeah. Just to let you know, I did not turn on my custom cooling pad on, so we could see the temperature by itself. So everything looked good. Everything is in spec, booting up. Everything's warming up. Process, you know, ramping up, ram everything. Everything should be running like it should. Oh, of course, this core, everything's turning up. So yeah, I'm just, everything looks solid, look stable, everything's fine, everything looks fine, mm -hmm. yeah, we're not hitting 140 like we did earlier in the video, so minor cleaning, changing the little pads, little mod, it seemed like it's helping. Oh, it made me activate my other, uh, my, uh, permanent comb with it and nitrous and sense whatever it is. And, uh, maybe, maybe clear the ramp. Maybe it's having issues. I'm clicking again and it's still having issues. Hmm. Any moment. Any time. Maybe press the key. And no? No? Oh, okay. You. Damn it. Maybe well, look at it. Okay, it's running. But I don't see the interface. I. Stupid. Run. Run broken thing. I always have issues. Maybe, maybe try to click that. Maybe it will work now. No, it's it's sewing it, but it's well the temperature's still working at least. I already used that program. You can see, you know, a little more, but right now I have all our program so the sensors of the temperature. But for some reason the nitro sense is not working. Why is not working? Mm hmm. Right. Good news it's not 140 or 150 on idling ish. Oh, I maybe go test mass test manager. Let's see what's going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let me see here. Okay. Maybe and test and reset it. Maybe that might work. Mm, no, yes, not. okay, maybe refresh it. Um, yeah, Celsius at least give me, no, oh, yeah, update, we're gonna have, not only updates. Uh, I'm trying to figure what's, why my problem is not working. Okay, um, hmm, this is an issue. It's not running hot, at least. You could tell, you know, it's look fine. Temperature's not 140, or 50, or 60. And, you know, it's the heat, the airflow's doing good. And I'm gonna try on my TV, see if it's out. Give me a moment. Okay. After uninstalling it, 
and now restalling it. Um, I still having issue with this program. So, yeah, it's it's not working anymore. But look at the temp, thirty seven Celsius, eighty nine degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, it's not bad. It's better than one hundred forty. So it's I don't know, it's a different program, different temperature uh, readouts, but. Uh, at least it's working. Don't I cannot really trust how much the difference is. It could be this. I only think it's only like ten or twenty. I don't believe it's that much, but hey, I can't be helped. I've lost out problem. But I had a problem solve it later. That's pretty much it for the video. Hope you like, share, and subscribe if you want to. This is how you maintain and modify your gaming laptop. You guys take care.